Let's start with a little demonstration that will help you understand distortion. We will take a snap gauge and install it loosely in the cylinder bore of this 5.9 Cummins block. Now pushing in on the sides of the block at a right angle to the snap gauge, we will distort the block enough that the snap gauge will fall out. Imagine what will happen when the head or main studs are torqued to 150 foot-pounds, delivering clamping loads in the 230 to 260,000 PSI range. Cylinders that are bored and honed straight and true will become distorted and out of round. We have seen distortion of over three thousandths of an inch in some engines. Not only does this cause blow-by and loss of compression, it can also cause piston scuffing due to a lack of piston to cylinder wall thirds. Now we are going to try and demonstrate what happens to a cylinder bore after a deck plate is installed using high performance head studs. With the deck plate installed we will hone the bore with a few strokes to highlight the low and the high spots. It's a little hard to see but if you look close the dark spots are where the hone has not touched the cylinder wall. Notice that each dark spot is in line with a cylinder head stud. Cylinder distortion can be measured with a dial bore gauge, but to make it easy for you to see in this video, we will hone number two cylinder until the dark spots are almost gone. On this machine, 12 strokes with a 60% reading on the load meter will remove one thousandth of an inch. After 24 strokes, the dark spot is almost gone, that is over two thousandths of an inch of distortion.